Hello, friends of the remote investing stoicism. Welcome back to the channel, where we explore stoic wisdom and its practical applications in everyday life. Today's video is a special one, as we delve into the realm of relationships and unveil the seven principles that intelligent men and women should follow, according to stoic philosophy. If you're ready to cultivate a mindset that's strong and resilient in the face of emotional challenges, you're in the right place. Before we begin, make sure to hit that subscribe button, activate the notification bell, and give this video a thumbs up if you're excited to harness the power of stoicism in your relationships. Now, let's embark on this journey together, exploring the seven things that smart men and women need to learn sooner rather than later according to stoic wisdom. 1. Talk less about yourself. When you talk about your past, especially the difficult parts, it's like revealing all your secrets. This can be dangerous, leaving you vulnerable and exposed. Few people genuinely care about you and your problems, so it's wise not to reveal too much. Epictetus said, old ideas can come back to challenge us. This means that talking excessively about your past can bring problems and lead others to misjudge you. Learn to keep your mouth shut and only speak what's necessary while showing respect. Imagine your life is like a special book. Not everyone needs to read all the pages, especially the saddest or most complicated parts. Share only what's necessary. The things that made you strong are yours, they are important. Don't let others use them against you or judge you. Remember, your story is yours. Be careful about what you share and with whom. Only you know the value of the lessons you've learned and the difficulties you've overcome. Protect yourself and value yourself. 2. Confront the fear of being alone. The wisdom of Aristotle, that knowing yourself is the beginning of all wisdom, emphasizes the importance of facing the fear of loneliness. Choices made out of fear, especially the fear of being alone, can lead you down the wrong path. Being alone is not the same as being lonely. Imagine when you're drawing or reading a book you love. You're alone, but you're happy, right? That's enjoying your own company. Spend time doing things you enjoy, like drawing, reading a good book, hiking, walking, biking, or simply thinking about your favorite things. When you choose to be with someone, let it be because that person brings happiness to your life, not because you're afraid to be without them. For example, think of a friend you enjoy talking to. You enjoy being with them because they make you laugh and have fun, not because you're afraid of not having anyone. That's important. Choosing to be with someone because they make your life better is what truly matters. This way, you learn to value people for the good things they bring to your life, not out of fear of being alone. Remember, knowing and liking who you are is a superpower. When you enjoy being with yourself, you make better choices and surround yourself with people who truly matter. 3. Manage your time wisely. Seneca's observation that it is not that our lives are short, but that we waste a lot of them, is true. This means that sometimes we spend our time on things that aren't worth it. Don't waste your time focusing too much on another person or on things without value. Time is yours, and you should use it well. Think of time as a treasure. You wouldn't want to throw away your treasure, right? Reclaim your time and use it for things that make you happy. For example, instead of spending hours watching TV because a friend wants you to, use that time to learn something new, invest in your own business, or do something you love, like painting or creating art forms. It's important to find a balance. Use your time wisely on activities that bring you joy, help you grow, and make your heart happy. Imagine your time is like a box of crayons. Each crayon is special, and you want to use them to draw beautiful things, not for meaningless scribbles. Your time is very valuable. Don't spend it on people who don't appreciate you. 
For example, if a colleague only remembers you when they have no one else, that's not fair. Choose to be with people who genuinely appreciate your company and who make you feel good. Remember, your time is a precious resource. Use it to do things that matter, that make you a better person. Don't waste your time on someone who doesn't see how special you are. 4. Celebrate your achievements. Epictetus teaches us that we should not only seek the admiration of others but also admire ourselves. This reminds us of the importance of celebrating our achievements. Often, we are so focused on pleasing others that we forget to acknowledge our own successes. Think of how many times you've achieved something significant and let it pass without giving it the proper value. Imagine you're at work and you finish an important project. It's easy to wait for recognition from colleagues or your boss, but it's essential that you also allow yourself to feel proud of your effort and the outcome. Every step forward, no matter how small, is a victory worth celebrating. It could be something simple like finally finishing that overdue reading or learning a new skill. Every bit of progress is meaningful. Building self-confidence through the recognition of your progress is essential for a rewarding life. For example, when you set a health goal, like exercising regularly, celebrate every week you manage to stick to your plan. Acknowledge your commitment and effort. These small moments of self-recognition accumulate, strengthening your self-confidence and motivation. Additionally, reflecting on your achievements can be a powerful tool to stay motivated and focused. Make a list of your accomplishments, big and small, and revisit it when you feel like you need a boost. Celebrating your victories isn't about being arrogant, it's a healthy practice of acknowledging your worth and your progress. Remember, admiring yourself is a crucial part of building a fulfilling life. Don't always wait for external approval. Give yourself credit for the hard work, resilience, and accomplishments you've achieved. By doing so, you not only strengthen your self-confidence but also create a solid foundation for facing future challenges with a positive and confident attitude. 5. Protect your mental health. Compromising your mental health for the sake of another person is like setting your house on fire to keep warm. It's harmful and makes no sense. Your mental health and your happiness should not be sacrificed in the name of others. It's important that you reclaim control, protect your peace with determination, and strengthen your mental resilience. Imagine you're in a relationship or a situation where you constantly feel pressured to please someone, even if it means ignoring your own emotional needs. That's like letting the fire burn your house down just to keep someone else warm. It's not sustainable and causes long-term damage. Don't let anyone steal your joy. You have the power to control your own mind and your own happiness. Your mental health should not be negotiated. It's an essential part of your well-being and cannot be treated like a commodity. Protecting your inner peace and your happiness is essential for living a full and balanced life. Always remember, you are in control of your emotions and your own life. Don't let others define your worth or your happiness. By prioritizing your mental health and inner peace, you build a solid foundation for facing life's challenges with resilience and high self-esteem. 6. Don't live to please others, be true to yourself. Confucius wisdom in not being too concerned with others echoes with the Stoic philosophy of being true to yourself. Accepting to do things you dislike is like wearing a tight mask to please others. It's important to learn to say no and live your life authentically. Don't be driven by the need to please others, be genuine and honest with yourself. Imagine you're in a situation where you feel like you always need to agree with what others say or do, even if it goes against what you truly feel. That's like wearing a mask that suffocates your true identity. You shouldn't act just to satisfy the expectations of others. Your life is yours, and you are the main character in it, 
not a supporting character in someone else's story. Always remember the importance of being authentic and true to your own values and desires. By making decisions that reflect who you truly are, you build a more fulfilling and genuine life. Don't sacrifice your authenticity to please others. You deserve to live a life where your voice and choices are respected and valued. 7. Prioritize relationships with friends and family. Plato's analogy that people are like soil, which can help you grow or hinder your growth, highlights the importance of maintaining connections with friends and family. Pushing them aside to seek the approval of someone else is a misguided decision. It's essential to reconnect with those who have always been by your side because your friends and family are the solid foundation of your support system. Don't risk losing this network of support. Value those who have been fundamental in your development. Consider people who help you and support you, because not everyone is born into a united and happy family. Sometimes you find support in friends or the families of friends. Imagine you're in a situation where you're neglecting people who have always been there for you, just to please someone who may not care as much about you. That's like neglecting the fertile soil that helped you grow, in exchange for arid soil that doesn't sustain your growth. Your friends and family are like the fertile soil that provides nourishment and support for your life. Seek to honor these people. Value these meaningful connections because they are essential for your emotional well-being and personal growth. Reconnecting with those who are genuinely supportive and who have always been present is fundamental to strengthening your emotional foundation. Don't underestimate the power of having people who support you unconditionally by your side. Always remember the importance of cultivating and preserving authentic and meaningful relationships. By valuing those who have been essential on your path, you strengthen your bonds and build a supportive community that enriches your life in profound and significant ways. Thank you for joining us on this Stoic journey. Remember, embracing Stoic principles is not about specific rules, but about cultivating a mindset that transcends the challenges we face in all aspects of life. By exploring the seven things that intelligent men and women should not do through the lens of Stoicism, we hope you found valuable insights into how to navigate relationships with mindfulness and virtue. By applying these timeless principles, may you forge connections that are rooted in understanding, respect, and shared growth. If you enjoyed this exploration of Stoicism and relationships, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content that enriches the mind and nourishes the soul. Feel free to leave your thoughts and questions below. Until next time, stay wise, stay stoic, and continue your journey towards a life of purpose and tranquility.